Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm filming at my vanity in my bathroom and so you can kind of see the toilet behind me. Sorry about that. But I wanted to do a Living Proof uh, product review. I've been talking about this quite a bit and um, so I'm just going to really get right into it. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been to my channel, I do videos on uh, girly stuff. How about that? Uh, and consider subscribing. That would really be nice. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to start talking about the products that I've used in no particular order. Actually, I kind of want to show you. I uh, Okay, so that's that's my lineup. This is my lineup of Living Proof products that I'm going to talk about. So I have a fair amount. They have many, many, many more products that I have seen when I've gone to Ulta, but um, I'm just going to pick them up and get started. These actually are kind of in an order. So this is my favorite one. This is their mask, and this is an excellent hair mask. And I want to start off by saying that all but one of these products that I just showed you have the same um, scent. And it's a very nice, fresh, salon, clean scent. So I, I really, really like the scent. But my husband likes the scent. I can't stop looking at the toilet behind me and the messy towels. I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, so back to the scent. The scent is really, really nice. All but one of these that I just showed you smell exactly the same. This hair mask is the best hair mask I've ever used. It's also the um, the highest end uh, product of hair mask that I've used too. So keep that in mind. But it is an excellent hair mask. I've noticed that when I've used it, after using it and my hair is dried, I've thought like, wow, my hair really took the product well. Oh, wait, I used that hair mask. So I really, really highly recommend this hair mask. Uh, that's all. The consistency is white. It, it feels like hair mask consistency. Um, I'm going to move on now to the uh, Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner. I really, really do like and recommend these. Um, this set. I feel like the shampoo is very, very clarifying. Um, and I think that means, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that Oh, Lucy in the background's better. I believe that that means that it really, really gets the product out and, and cleans your hair really well. So I feel like that's a very clarifying shampoo. I and, and the conditioner feels really, really nice and conditioning as well. So um, I am going to go on. So I loved these things. PhD Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner and the hair mask. I'm going to go on to something I did not like, actually. I, do, I did not like this. I, I don't understand it at all. I, I typically like to use products at least three times before I do a review on it because I do believe that the user needs to learn how to work with the product before they can actually really speak about it. Um, and give it, you know, a second chance. I often will maybe use too much product in my hair and then, yeah, anyway. So this I used once and that was all I needed to know. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day um, Night Cap Overnight Perfector. And this just felt like, I, I don't swear on my channel because I realize that a lot of people who watch me might have little kids around. But this just felt like poopy um, leave-in conditioner. And you're supposed to put it on your hair before you go to bed, and you're supposed to wake up, and it's supposed to be extremely moisturizing. The way it describes itself, actually, also... Sorry, I'm holding my phone. I didn't plan that well. Um, it says, wake up to more vibrant, shiny, manageable hair that lasts up to five shampoos. Usage. Apply to damp or dry hair before bed from roots to ends. Comb through. Leave in or wash out in the morning. Fast absorbing. Pillow safe. Use as often as needed. It just felt like really, really bad leave-in conditioner. And I woke up and my hair is... My hair needs help right now. I, I'm about to shower and whatnot. But my hair just... It, it looked about as good as it looks now, which isn't that great. <laughs> um, and and I, it just didn't feel good. And um, so I do not recommend this. All in all, I do not recommend this one. Um, I'm going to go on to the Flex Hairspray. 
This one is the one that does not smell like the others. So this had, so the, the, um, okay, the way it felt was good. It wasn't exceptional. I feel like I've used better hairsprays. Um, it was good. I wasn't sure if I was going to share this, but why not? So when I, when I used it that day, I, um, I kept smelling it and it's not an unpleasant smell, but I kept on thinking, this is going to be a little bit of a story time. I kept thinking, you know how your smell memory is very, very strong and I couldn't pinpoint what it was, but every time I smelled it, it made me feel sad. And so it was so familiar and all I knew is that when I smelled it, it made me feel sad. And then finally it dawned on me that the reason was, is that it smells just like a perfume that my late fiance's aunt gave me right after he died. So I'm extremely biased against this hairspray because um, it was many years ago and I've, uh, yeah, I, I can't can't do it. Uh, actually, I've used it once, and if you are someone who works out trades, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I can't use it. It makes me sad. Um, okay, so I am going to, this is the, the reason I haven't done this review yet is because I have not used this product yet, and so I had been waiting, waiting, waiting until I used it before I did this review. This is the blowout heat protectant. I am going to, um, use it on a piece of my hair and then I will come back and let you know how it is. I just haven't done it yet because my husband really doesn't like it when I straighten my hair so I don't do it very often. So I'm going to do that now on a piece of my hair and I will be right back. Okay. Okay, so I just used the blowout styler on this piece of my hair and I have a very good first impression. I think that it is very nice. It's holding, my hair holds curl really well because it's very, my hair is very curly already. So um, it does hold curl really well, but it, it, I can feel the product a little bit, but I think over the next few hours, it would probably kind of settle into the cuticle and be extremely touchable. My first impression is that this is a good blowout styler. Oh, I left it over here. Sorry about that. Okay. My first impression is that this is a good blowout styler. Um, the unfortunate thing for me though, is that, um, hopefully you didn't skip over the hairspray part, but, um, it matches this smell. So... I'm kind of left back in that boat where the smell memory associated with it just makes me very sad. But actually, you know, this is a good blowout styler. I like it. I do. And I'm going to talk about this next, which is kind of another styler. It does more than just that. It's a cream. Um, but I like it. I like this better than that one. And, uh, yeah, so I would, I would recommend this one. I do, I, it feels good. That is using it once, um, but if you use it once and you like it, that usually means you did it right the first time. But like I said, I, I like to try to use, uh, products at least three times, if not at least two times before I do a review because, um, I have definitely been proven wrong when I realized, oh, I was doing it incorrectly. Um, okay, so that brings me to my last product, which is this one. It's the uh, TBD Multitasking Styler that stands for Tame Blowout Deconstruct. And um, this is a styling cream, and I already did a video dedicated to just this, so I'm gonna link that above me here. And you can go on over there and check that video out because this is the end of this video. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you later. Bye.